Cinnaboy Downs is proud to present our featured field here in race number six. It's the 38th running of the Chantilly Stakes for three-year-old fillies. They're going to go six furlongs for $27,500. That's number one, West Princess. Owned by Marvin Buffalo and Larry Falloon. Trained by Marvin Buffalo with Antonio Whitehall. Parading early was number two, Esther 414. Owned by Bags Racing and Tijuana Racing Stables. Trained by Juan Pablo Silva with Adolfo Morales. Number three is Suzette. Owned by 604 Bloodstock Syndicate, Donard, Don Donard, and Winway's Farm. Trained by Greg, Greg Tracy with Domingo Chocoltana. Number four is Lady Warrior. Owned by Garth Ryder and Violetta Adamchik. Trained by Murray Duncan with Tyrone Nelson. Number five, Bonjour was scratched. Number six is True Confession, owned by Terry Props, trained by Charlie Smith with Rohan Singh. Number seven is Cheer to the New Year, owned and trained by Ardell Sailor with Chavi and Chow. Rounding out our featured field, that's number eight, Dandy Dean, owned by Sierra Stable, trained by Lane Gardapee with Praven Badri. Following the running of the Chantilly State, they're at the post, and they're off in the Chantilly. Quickly, Suzette going out after the early lead, but Esther 414, after a slow beginning, takes over and opens up four lengths. Settled back in second. That's going to be Suzette on the far outside. Is Lady Warrior now taking over second? True Confession is back to fourth. And then there's a gap of five lengths back to the Ralliers, which is going to be Dandy Dean. And your early trailer, West Princess, will be rallying from the back. The opening quarter, a sizzling 22 and 2. Esther 414 now swallowed up by Lady Warrior on the outside. True Confession is rattling the half. 45 and 3. Dandy Dean trying to make up ground from the back. And West Princess is getting closer. But True Confessions is now drawing off by three lengths as they hit the 16th pole. True Confessions. She looks impressive and she's going to take the Chantilly. Second best is Lady Warrior. Third goes to Dandy Dean. And fourth to West Princess. Closure is the impressive winner of the 38th running of the Chantilly Stakes. That's number six, True Confession. True Confession is a chestnut filly, three years old, by Broken Vow. Out of the mare, Ruby's Big Band by Bowman's Band. Owned by Terry Props, trained by Charlie Smith, and ridden a victory by Rohan Singh. Time for the six furlongs, one, 11 and two. Assiniboy Downs is pleased to have on hand Ann and Dave Champion, longtime supporters here at ASD and horse owners that had their horse win in race number four to make a presentation to the winning connections. Race six is official in the upcoming seventh race. Scratch number seven, Harlana Bella. In race number seven, scratch the seven, Harlana Bella. High five jackpot wagering here in race number seven. And they'll go to post in 19 minutes. Attention back down to the winner's enclosure. ASD paddock host Rob McLennan has the winning connections of the Chantilly. Rob, take it away.
We're down here with the winning connections of the 38th running of the Chantilly Stakes. Rohan Singh, Charlie Smith, Terry Props. We've uh, seen the mare here before Ruby's Big Band. True Confession, like her mom, comes up here. Rohan, what did you think of the race? Uh, she did well. We, we, we thought she would run you know, this way because uh, we've chased some pretty good horses down south of this horse. Yeah, Tara's Angel being a legitimate, very nice racehorse. And you got to break your break this filly's maiden on her. You've ridden her before. What kind of advantage do you thought that gave you coming into today and thinking about a little bit how the race would go? You're right, because she had a little quirks riding her, you know. It may look like she went easy, but she could be a little difficult, you know, a little bit. But, uh, but yeah, we only had, like, one little hiccup with her down there. I don't know what happened. And, and then I guess Charlie went back to the drawing board, and he told me what was up with her. And, she had a legitimate excuse when she threw that one bad race in. Charlie's an absolute artist when he gets into that drawing board. And this filly ran a big race with a rapid pace in front of you. Did you kind of feel that going down the backside that you were really clipping along and had a dead aim on the leader? I knew we were clipping along pretty good, but I didn't want my horse to get too comfortable. And she acted like she might get a little too comfy on me. And I seen a loose lead horse, and I thought the three was going with the, with the two. And then uh, I, just, I didn't want one horse shake loose and run the whole way, right? So I had to keep her pretty close in sight. Yeah, you ended up tracking down, and it really wasn't uh, in doubt at any time. So congratulations, Rohan, a tremendous ride. Anything else to add? No, I'll let Charlie talk to you. <laughs> uh, we always love having Charlie here. So here's True Confession, the winner of the Chantilly. Talk a little bit about this homebred filly. Well, before I start, i got to say hi to Terry and Maddie and Lola and everybody down home. We weren't able to get in. Uh, I think we may stick around for the Jack Hardy, and I'm hoping we can get everybody up here. And now ask me that question again. <laughs> So just talk a little bit about uh, what your thoughts kind of coming into the race were. Uh, Philly, that you took to Fawner and won a little stake with and got into a real tough spot at Lone Star. Talk a little bit about how she came into today. Well, I thought we were going to get a big race. We looked at this series of races you guys have that are all three-year-old fillies, and it's hard to find them right now, and it's a six, seven-mile progression. I thought she was training great, but, that's you know, we came a long ways. You never know, but uh, it all worked out. We got by that, I thought. That was going to be difficult, but it, it was a nice race. And once again, Rohan, a great ride. I mean, he reads everything all the way through a race. Uh, and we've just had a lot of success together. Yeah, it really was a savvy veteran ride and a tremendous win by Rohan. This is a filly that you've raced the mare. We saw the mare here. She was tremendous. This is one of those families. Talk a little bit about the family here. Well, it's Terry's doing, and it's kind of a funny story on this mare. She wanted to breed it to Broken Valley the year before, but pulled his grawn and retired the day she was booked to go to stud with him with this with uh, Ruby's big band so we had to wait a year for this filly and then her knees didn't close and so we were not where we normally are with the two-year-olds going in the fall but I think she's going to take some pretty big strides through the summer I think we're starting to see that she's because this was a nice field of horses here tonight I thought you can put your comment on it uh, but it's just Terry's matching them up once again you know she picked up Ruby for 3500 in a sale her first one, she sold a colt that takes place down at Gulfstream, and this one looks like she's got a world of talent. So it's just Terry and her ability to slight that uh, pick us a horse. If she can keep picking them, I'm sure you can keep training them, and I'm Rohan would love to keep riding them. True confession, the winner of the Chantilly Stakes. Back up to you, Kurt, after a tremendous victory. Thank you, Rob. High five jackpot wagering here in.